Hello guys, um, Sparkleth here. I am currently working on making a sort of dungeon type thing for this server here, Infinity Craft, and the IP will be in the description if you want to check out this dungeon or any other dungeons or just check out the server in general. Anyway, moving right along, this is indeed a redstone video. As you can see, I have redstone in front of me. Awesome! So what did we do today? Well, I was trying to make a uh, sequential level thing. I don't even know what you call it. But anyway, what it's going to do is it's going to launch... My plan was to launch some zombies, and I didn't know how to do that. So I wanted to have like different levels of difficulty, like zombies, then spiders, then skeletons, like cave spiders, then skeletons, then blazes. But I didn't know how to do that. So, my original plan was just to put a pulsar, and only put ten on each, and then after a certain time it would move on to the next, and then you just press the button and it starts the pulsar. But, I thought of an even better way, because I know a while ago I had made, in a single player world, a machine kind of like this, that would spawn, or that would pulse a few times and then stop. So here what I've created is a zombie spawner, which will pulse exactly five zombies out, and then stop. And that can be customized by how long this works, so I will, or how long the delay on that is. Are these repeaters backwards? Hmm. That was, I had a dirt moment there. Anyway, I'm just going to press this button, you can see how it works, and I'll explain in a moment. So, press the button, it toggles the flip-flop, it connects... Right, the server crashed and I forgot to, s to redo this part. Whoops! Alright, so that needs to be on three. And then this comes in here. So, um, I will press this button down here. It's gonna toggle the flip flop. One, two, three, four, five, five, two, three, four, five, exactly five, Killed five mobs. See? It's awesome. Anyway, basically how this works is I have a flip-flop here, and the button emits two pulses. So pulse number one comes out of here uh, on a one-tick delay, and then pulse number two comes out of here on a... Oh, goodness, I don't want the math right now. But that's one, two, three, four, five, six repeaters on full delay. Um, rule of thumb, it's usually about three repeaters for two mobs-ish. I mean, you have to fiddle around with the timings and it's not perfect. But basically what happens is the first pulse opens the circuit. So that slides over there and it stays open. And then the second, cir or the second pulse closes the circuit. So then it closes. And that means that this stays open for a certain amount of time. And now that certain amount of time is determined how, by how long between the first pulse and the second pulse over here. So, when we put this all together, that pulses and holds this open for roughly four seconds. Um, and then the second part is a, an actual pulser. So basically what's happening here is this torch is always on, that redstone's always on, and this repeater is taking that redstone out of this block and wrapping it around here so that when this block is extended, pushed into here, this repeater will pull power and it will give three ticks of power. So that's one, two, and then into the block. So that means that a little bit more than half is always lit up constantly. No, that's exactly half. Exactly half is lit up constantly. So that creates kind of a toggle, not quite a toggle pulse, but this, the kind of, yeah, anyway. <laughs> I'm not being very clear and concise today. But anyways, that pulses this redstone five times. That redstone goes into this uh, dispenser right here. Sorry if you hear small children in the background. Don't worry about that, though. Anyway, um, this circuit here only stays on for three because when this extends the bottom half of that piston oops, turns into a
Anyway, did someone butcher that? Thank you. To whoever did. Um, anyway, yeah, that's basically it. So if you're interested in building this yourself, um, basically, I don't want to give specific instructions because it's important to be creative, but basically you have one output from your button that goes almost all the way, almost immediately. Or it goes all the way, almost immediately. And then another output from your button that takes a while. And that second taking a while, the time between when the first arrives and when the second arrives, that's how long your piston is going to be out for. So, yeah. And then it's just a regular T flip flop. You can do any sort of T flip flop works here. And then it's just a regular T flip Let's see here. Yeah, you just put your repeater on your, uh, or your dispenser on your redstone at the end. And it can be on any of the blocks because the blocks get powered in the process. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go right ahead and install these, and maybe I will be back for a finished um, dungeon. However, that might be a separate video, or not a video at all, considering these dungeons. We want them to be kind of challenging and tricky to beat. Anyway, guys, hope you have a great 2013, because this is my first video of the year, and I do apologize for not posting any videos whatsoever over the holiday season. But yes, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.